Hello guys, welcome to the 29th session of Pleaser Tutorials for Beginners. In this session, we will learn how to design forms with Pleaser. Here, I have created a new model class for student form model. We will design the form for this model. It contains string full name, date time, date of birth, integer age, and string country name. I have also overridden the to string method to print out those details. Now let's create a new component for this student form. Add page directive to session 29 student form and create an instance of model class for which we want to generate a form. To create form in Blazor, we need to use the edit form component. In the model parameter, pass model that we have created. Here, I will use some styling of bootstrap for the better user interface. Create a form group. Add a label for full name. Blazor provides several inputs components such as checkbox, date, number, select, text, and text area. Here we will use input text for normal input type text. Set ID to full name. Using bind value, we can bind the property of the model class with this component. Here we will bind the value of a full name. Set class to form control. Now copy and paste this group for date of birth. Update label. And bind it with date of birth. Here we will use input date. It will generate date picker. Again, paste a group for age and update label. And now bind it. And again, paste it for the country. Update label. For this, we are displaying combo box. Use input select. Bind it with the country. Add some options for this. US. Canada. And India. Here, age will hold numeric value, so we need to use input number component instead of input text. Here, for all components, we have bind values from the model. Blazor also allows us to set it without this binding. For this, we need to set function delegate in value expression. Like something. And set its value type in T parameter, for example, int32. But here we will use bind value only. So I'm removing this. To add submit button, we need to use normal HTML. Submit. Added form has several other parameters. In on valid submit, we need to set method which will execute on submitting the form which has valid data. In this form, we haven't performed any kind of validation, so this will execute always. Execute on valid submit method. Create a method for this.
Here, I will just print this model in the console. You can perform some other operations like call web API, store data in database, etc. Now save the file and run the project. Open the student form. Here we got our form. Blazor will internally convert input component to HTML for rendering. Here we got date time picker for date of birth, spinner of numeric value, and drop down for the country. Fill some values in all component. Open developers tools. Open console tape and let's submit it. Here we got a message in the console. Hey Nile, you are from India and your date of birth is October 7, 1994. Let's see what we have learned in this session. Edit form component used to create form in Blazor. On valid submit will execute when the user clicks on the submit button and all data are valid otherwise it will call on invalid submit. Input component like input text, input numeric, input checkbox, input select, input text area used to add controls in form. Those components will automatically generate HTML as well as updates CSS based on value update for differentiating valid and invalid field. Here we have used model to bind value. But you can also use value expression and set the type in the T parameter. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please feel free to contact me. Have a nice day.